going up to this condo called the Chateau owner has already spent about three hundred thousand dollars worth of renovation. What you gonna do when the rain is coming down? Nothing more to do when there's no one else around. Bring it back to the middle, push, take it back to do it. This is a free gold smart home, two thousand one hundred and thirty-one square feet, ready for you to move in. Hey guys! <laughs> hey everyone, we're in District 11 today and we're going up to this condo called Di Chateau. Now this unit that we're going into is 2,131 square feet and this owner has already spent $300,000 worth of renovation and it's a smart home. I think you'll really like this one. Let's go check it out. The Chateau is a freehold project here in the Prime District 11. Now this is a freehold project that TOP in 2010, so it just celebrated its 10th year anniversary last year. There are a total of 31 units here and they spread across two blocks and the highest level being at level 5. There are two bedroom types and three bedroom type units, patio units as well as penthouse unit offerings that you have in this development. Now we are in stack 1 overlooking the pool and in terms of unit facing, there are 5 units here that get a pool view facing. Our unit here along with stacks 5, 7, 2 will get a southwest facing with some slanting sun. So today we are on a 3 plus study, triplex ground floor unit. So there are 3 bedrooms here plus a study room and initially there were 2 bathrooms plus a wash closet but now it's been converted into 3 full baths instead. Private dedicated car park right below. Now let's begin here at the foyer. This is your first entry towards your home and that's where your guests would come in from. You have a very nice comfortable sized foyer here. If you like, because this is an empty space, you can also consider putting up some shelvings here to maybe put some of your shoes or some of your decorated items. So coming here, this is where your living room space is and where you would host your friends. They have comfortably fitted a two-seater here as well as two couches there. A very comfortable and cozy space for your friends to come over and just watch a movie and chill out. Now if you're craving for a movie experience, at home now the owner has already factored that into his renovation come with me as we check out this area here this is where they've currently fitted a silhouette blind by hunter douglas blackout blinds so if you pull that down this will black out the entire home and then you still have curtains at the side there to just darken up the whole this home is a fully smart home and it's all controlled by your voice or through your phone then just tell google to prepare everything before you head home have the blinds down have the movie ready have music playing and you're ready to go so this area here if you think that the living room area is not enough for you to host your friends then you still have this space here where they have comfortably fitted four-seater table right next to it we have a bay window and actually this is my favorite spot to sit in the home because i get to appreciate the whole home and the beauty of this home here Now the first thing being is that we have Raffles Girls Primary and Nanyang Primary within the one kilometer radius. So it's popular amongst families who are planning to have their kids sent to that school in the future. The second thing is with our estate being in the CCR region, you can expect us to be in close proximity to many of the city town centers. So for example, if you're driving towards Orchard, that's only just an 11 minute drive away from where we are. If you're going to the CBD, that's only about a 13 to 15 minute drive away. If let's say you're planning to go by this PIE, it's just only four minutes away from where we are. Are. And if you're using the Lonnie Highway, it's just down the road. If you are turning towards the Farrah Flyover, that's just where Dunnan Road is. That's just a three minute turn away from where we are. And if you're taking the train, the entrance to the MRT station, Tankaki, is right there. So one stop down from Tankaki is where Botanic Gardens is and that's also where you can interchange to the Circle Line. Another stop down from there would be where your Stevens MRT is, where you can expect the upcoming Thompson East Coast Line. Another stop down will get you to Newton where you can also interchange to the North-South Line. Another stop down from there, you head on to Little India which is where you can also interchange into the northeast Line. And then two stops away from there, that's where you can head to Boogies where you have your East-West Line. So essentially within six stops, you can get around to all the different interchanges for your MRTs. Now let's come with me into the kitchen. So if you're doing heavy cooking, really no need to worry about fumes and smells going into the living room area. So you have your cooker hood and cook. Your fridge, they're all by Bosch. So it's all like one system. It's very organized. And they've chosen this wood laminate to complement the black. And that just gives you a very nice clean look. Now coming over here, we're very impressed by this sink by Kanz Groy. If you take a look, I mean, where do you even turn, right? Where do you even start your like turning on the faucet? Well, it's over here actually. Here you get to control the heat. 
So the temperature of the water and how do you turn it on? Let's give it a click. That's how you get your water out. And we also like the feature where you can push the tap from over here, especially with the pandemic right now. All you need to do is push it here and you can wash your hands so you minimize contact with the surface area. And we really like the Peranakan tiles that we have here that complement the feature wall in the living room as well. Now this is a good time for us to whip out our original floor pan and take a look because this area here would actually be fitted with a window right behind. So why is it covered? Now this area is actually where your yard area is and your bomb shelter right next door. So instead of keeping the yard area, what they did was to hack on everything here and fit it with the fridge instead as well as storage at the top so it completely elongates your kitchen and opens up and maximizes your space here. So right now the area has already been fitted with shelvings and cabinets. Uh, this is actually their special hideout room where they've put their alcohol stash here. <laughs> and they also have a wine cellar in there. So this is a great dry kitchen space that you also have. So you have your wet here and then your dry in here too. Go on into the balcony area and at the balcony here and you don't see any units facing us directly and all we have right now is just the little kids playground and you have the pool right next to us. All in all we do think we have quite a lot of privacy here because we are tucked away at the corner. The part of the balcony is currently fitted with the carpet grass and they kind of made this feel like a very landed kind of living. Underneath the carpet grass is still original tile so if it's raining you really don't have to worry because it will still be drained out. The awning here currently fitted with a Somfy motor as well as a Gaviota. So they chose the Gaviota system which is strong enough and sturdy enough if the rain or the wind were to get very strong. In this space over here, they've also put in a little cabinet where they put their wine glass here. And on top of that, want to do a barbecue, you have one right here. And this is also where they've also put their barbecue grill. So if you want to have friends over, this is the perfect place to have them. And on this side of the balcony here, they've already fitted it with a soft flying merbal wood. So if you want to do a proper wash down of this area, you can still do that because the original tiles and the drainage is still at the bottom. So they've currently fitted this place with an outdoor sitting set as well as a small garden feature over on this side. And since we are in the balcony, let's talk about the different kinds of floor plans for the ground floor units here in Di Chateau because the major difference is where the balcony space is at. There are a total of seven different floor plans and each are all different. One major difference aside from the size and shape of the unit would be in the size and shape of the patio space which gives these owners more space to have a setup for maybe a playground, a gazebo. For units like ours with a smaller balcony, you can jazz it up like how our owner has. Let's head into the master bedroom first. So the units here in Di Chateau do come with bay windows, but what the owners have done is they've already decked it up, leveled up the bed to match with bay window. And at the side, there's also side storage. These are very special blinds. You might be wondering why is it down halfway? Well, these are top down bottom at honeycomb blind from Hunter Douglas. So you can pull these downwards, and of course they can go back upwards just like your regular blinds. Moving on here, you do still have a very comfortable space which they have put a lounge chair in as well as a nice coffee side table there. So if you like what you can do because you do have space on this side, so imagining just expanding out this area and pulling it out here, so that will give you extra wardrobe space should you wish to have more. So if you look at the original floor plan that you might see, in terms of where the wardrobe would used to be, would not be here, but actually a little cardinal, little walk-in wardrobe right on this side here where the sink is. So they wanted to expand the toilet into something more luxurious. Instead of having a wardrobe here, they decided to open up the entire space for the toilet. So in the sink area here, they have extra storage at the back of the mirror as well as some at the bottom. But the special feature about the one in this toilet here is the fact that they have used extra high quality finishings in this toilet. For example, all their taps here are also hands growing, but instead of just regular hands growing for the master room toilet, they have used Exor instead, which is the luxury range for hands growing. And also, they have also even have a space here because this is the standing shower area. Look above me, there's still a rain shower by Exor as well. You also have a bathtub right at the back here, comfortable for you to lie down full body in. To the study area which they have now converted it as a walk-in wardrobe. It's currently fitted with this OPSH system. So these shelvings are actually not the kinds that are stuck in a fixed 
to the wall. So should you wish to convert this back into a study room, you can easily remove this. So if you like, you can keep this configuration of a walk-in wardrobe because it really is perfect. This is our second bath that's on the second floor. So the fitting and the style of it does look very similar to the one that we saw on the master toilet on suite just now. There is a ventilation window here. So if you're doing your showering, you don't have to worry. So you have storage below as well as storage above where the mirror is at. It's a very comfortable size toilet, enough for you to still fully cover up. Now this is the first common bedroom that you have, which is currently used as the study setup for the owner. It is a very nice comfortable size. Actually, this part over here was all previously a bay window. So if you open it this side here, it is deep enough and big enough for you to put your winter coats or your bulkier items. So in terms of the cabinets and fixtures, all of this is ready for you. Now with the current setup with the cabinets already there, you can still have the space here to put a bed, be it a queen size bed or a single size bed. So coming to this side of the study come bedroom here, you see that there's a little bit of difference in terms of the paint. They used N Saloon chalk paint, which doubles up right now as a whiteboard as well as a magnetic board. So this is actually already a fully functional whiteboard. I think this is perfect if you have a little child living here. So of course if this is not a feature that you like, you can easily cover this back up with regular paint. Now coming here, this is the last common bedroom that you have and they did it similar to the setup in the master bedroom where they decked up the bay window. So in the original floor plan, yes, the bay windows are on both sides but they've already done the reno works to kind of cover it up and this area here gets to appreciate the best view. The owners even shared with us that in the evening you get to see the pink skies because of the sunset but we don't have the full direct sun coming in, it's just a slanting west sun here. Currently five panels here so I think this is quite a comfortable size for you. If you still want to, you can also still put one here because there is quite a bit of comfortable walking space. have talked a little bit about the pricing. Now looking across the entire Singapore, finding a freehold cluster home will start at as low as 2.45 million for units in West Coast. If looking at the 9, 10, 11 district, prices start at 4 million and can go upwards to 6 million. Also comparing the townhouses in 9, 10, 11, there are a total of only 23 listings with prices starting at 4 million dollars upwards to 6 or 9 million. Secondly, comparing the three to four bedroom units here within the shelf of vicinity, the PSF starts to be around $1,400 and the vast majority of them starts at the $1,700 odd PSF range and can go up to the $2,400 PSF range. The new launch at Dunn 386 just down the road from us is asking at $2,300 odd PSF for the bedroom unit. The varying sizes for the three to four bedroom units will go at $2.1 to $4.2 million. Lastly, we also want to compare ourselves with different triplex offerings here in Singapore. Most of these will be for penthouses and typically with most penthouses, they often come with a roof terrace on the highest floor. We also note that due to the nature of a penthouse being on the highest floor, these units will come with a premium because of its luxury. A not so common type of triplex would be something like what we have here in Dish Chateau. I think in terms of patio space, the owner has done up a perfectly usable space and additionally, we have our own parking lot that makes it really feel like a landed living. down here, this is our basement level and in the original floor plan, you'll see that this is actually zoned as the family room but what the owner has converted this is into a secondary study area. This is away from the noise that's happening upstairs if you're having friends come over. On top of that, he has converted this into extra storage space. So he has used this with veneer cabinets here. So you have extra space for you to hide more of your stuff but this is where they kind of put their shoes right now. So they have a few shelvings for that and then more space at the top and also over here fits up perfectly is another wine chiller. So in the original floor plan, this would not otherwise have a bath but it was actually just a powder room. So they added an additional bath. With the extension of the wall here, they were able to fit in the bathroom here and still give you privacy and this just like above can also fully cover up so you don't have to worry about the water getting into this area here. Additionally, the fittings are similar to the ones upstairs where you have extra storage at the back as well as some at the bottom as well. So for the ground floor units here, the luxury we have is that we have two dedicated car park lots and because we are at the corner, we do have the luxury of having ours at the side. Now they've used this space more like their laundry area so they dry their clothes because you have some natural sunlight coming onto this side. Then over here, they've also decked it up with some gym equipment and then they've also decked this with towels that are actually all 
movable so these are not fixed to the ground so if you're doing a wash you don't have to worry about it the owner has also put in an additional gate here just to close up the space because they've put some of their private belongings so this is a very nice feature that only we kind of get because we are at the corner and we have this dedicated lot here now that i'm done showing you through the home let's talk about the growth in the area There was recently a news article on the successful en bloc in the Shelford Estate at Watton Estate Condominium just around the corner. This was a joint venture between UOL and Singland with a winning bid of 550.8 million. This price translates to be about 1,700 PSF per plot ratio, with a size of over 220,000 square feet and with us being zoned in a 1.4 plot ratio, UOL has mentioned that the plan would be to build a luxury condominium in the site. According to the Jones Lang LaSalle, the expected break-even price for the new site might be around $2,650 per square foot, giving us about a $1,000 PSF difference. Another thing to expect in the Bukit Timah transformation is the Sky Park, which will be built above the Bukit Timah Canal. This is part of the expansion of the rail corridor and is part of the MPUC's plans to develop the Bukit Timah Rocho Green Corridor. Eventually, this will connect us to three national gardens, Jurong Lake Gardens, Singapore Botanic Gardens and Gardens by the Bay. Now let's talk about the facility in the condo as well as your amenities around the area. You have a children's pool and a swimming pool as well as a lap pool. If you have children, there's a playground right across our unit and the gym equipment are all leased so you can be assured that they are all of good condition when you come over. For your shopping and groceries, you have the NTUC Fair Price at Coronation Plaza, a cold storage at Clooney Court, and you also have a 24-hour cold storage at the Specialty Greenwood area, and one more at cold storage at Guthrie House. Let's talk a bit about what you can get by foot. Now, if you just walk towards the back where Greenwood Avenue is, Adam Road Food Centre, you have food options there as well. You can also cross the road over at Dunnan Road, where you can head over to Coronation Plaza. And in terms of your recreation, if you're a nature lover, then Botanic Garden, Java Road Playground, Bougainvillea Park, the Duchess Park and Greenwood Crescent Playground and finally we have Orchid Village Playground and in terms of your schools, you have Raffles Girls Primary, Nanyang Primary all within the 1km radius. For our secondary and tertiary students, we have Hua Chong Institution, National Junior College and St. Margaret Secondary all within the 1km radius as well. somebody that likes landed living and would like to be in the Prime District 11 CCR zoning, then come check out this unit at D Chateau with us. This is a 3 plus study standing at 2131 square feet. In terms of renovation, owner has already spent about $300,000 worth of renovation and it's a smart home ready for you to move in. We also have great connectivity around Singapore and we're in close proximity to reputable schools around the area. So if you're keen to find out more, you can give the listing team a call. Our contact details are just right below. But before we go, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok channels and I'll see you there. I'm Michaela from Property Lim Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Wow! Is it snowing? What is going on? Are we in Genting right now? Michaela's in a cardigan. It must be cold. <laughs> ah! Did you catch that though? Hi, we're in District 11. Hey, hey everyone. Hey guys! <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> <laughs>